गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द नाइन्थ चैप्टर ऑफ आर इंग्लिश कोर्स बुक एपोस्ट्रॉफे टू द ओशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड द प्रीवियस थ्री स्टेंजास फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेंजास ऑफ द पोएम इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रिमेनिंग फोर स्टेंजास ऑफ द पोएम नाउ वील स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फोर्थ स्टेंजा द आर्मामेंट्स विच थंडर स्ट्राइक द वर्ल्ड of rock built cities bidding ancient quake and monarch stumble in their capital the oak leviathan whose huge ribs make their clay creators the wind title take okay so the armaments means weapons so whenever any army or uh, attacks any city with their weapons so the weapon which attacks the wall it creates a thunder strike it creates a hard hitting force in the walls of the cities okay it hits the city walls of the cities too hard bidding nations quake and even the bidding nations growing nations also collapse collapse and monarchs tremble in their capital and the kings and the emperor start a trembling start a trembling with fear they get very much afraid in their capital the oak leviathans whose huge roof makes their clay creator the wind title take okay so the oak leviathan uh the oak leviathan oak leviathan leviathan is means uh, extremely strong and something which is extremely so strong and powerful or sometimes it is it also denoted as the monster in ancient mythology okay in ancient greek mythology it is also called as a monster so the monster whose huge ribs uh, uh, can destroy the uh, cities and uh, the monster in the web, uh, the attack from the enemy side is denoted as a monster which could attack the cities to a large extent and it could attack attack the make the monarchs and the kings tra- start trembling with fear their clay creator the vain title take of Le- lord of the okay the clay creator clay creator means man man who have made various types of development and uh, in the uh, earth surface through his uh, uh, like various types of development he has made in the uh, earth surface by developing buildings roads all is this so and by creating uh, when, when man has developed all this uh, uh, all this type of advancement in the earth surface he starts considering himself lord he start considering himself as the god and arbiter of the war and but here the uh, ocean is considered as and he also start cons- considering himself an arbiter of the war arbiter is a person who settles disputes who decides who is losing and who is winning suppose a, a country is attacking another country here I, man will only decide no who is um, which uh, part of the country is uh, winning and which part is losing so by all these things man si- starts deciding or uh, considering himself as lord he starts considering himself as god but these are the toys and as the snowy flake they melt into the east of waves and which made alike the armada sprite or spoils of trafalgar but all these huge weapons and all the development all the creation of the men's are like toys of the ocean and when where they fall into the ocean they st- um, melt into the ocean as if the east uh, as if the waves of the ocean and just like they um, ocean have destroyed the armada's pride and it also have spoiled the trafalgar so armada's what is armada and trafalgar Traf- armada and trafalgar are names of two famous battle which was fought on the o- sea or ocean in around 17th 18th century okay thy shores are empire change in all save thee assyria greece rome uh, carthage water they okay so wherever the ocean is reside wherever the ocean uh, resides okay so the ocean the shores of the ocean reside the shores of the ocean make the emperor besides them very rich otherwise uh, uh, empires like assyria greece rome carthage would be nothing without the help of the ocean thy waters wash them power while they were free and many a tyrant since okay so the poet further says that uh, the waters of the ocean give, gives power to the ocean uh, these emperors okay and also made them free from very tyrant rulers tyrants means cruel ruler okay 
their shores obey the stranger slave or savage their decay has dried up realms of two desert okay so the shores of the ocean so whenever there is a, not a good ruler in a kingdom okay so the, he creates a lot of slaves stranger or savage so all the slave stranger and savage also comes besides the shore of the ocean so the shores of the ocean also take care of the slave strangers and savage people and if they die beside the shore of the ocean they they also their dead bodies get dried in the desert around the um, desert area which is the shore of the ocean not so though unchangeable save thy wild waves play time writes no wrinkle on the ancient on thine azure bro such as creation dawn beheld though rolls now here the poet further says that just like man uh get, takes birth and uh, with a period of change uh, time he just starts growing old he gets young and starts growing young and finally he uh, dies but it is not the same with the ocean or the sea because the time keeps on changing but the ocean keeps on playing and there are no footprints left in the ocean and there are no wrinkles time creates no wrinkles on the oceans on the ocean the glorious mirror where the almighty almighty's form the glasses itself in tempest okay now the ocean is called as the glorious mirror of the almighty almighty means god and it glasses itself in tempest means tempest means storm theek hai jab bhi storm aata hai wo glass karta hai aasman ki tarah bhagwan ki taraf in all time it reflects itself in all times it either it is calm or convulsed what is the meaning of convulsed convulsed mean shaken up either it is calm or shaken up it, then also it reflects either it is in breeze or gale or storm then also it is icing the pole if it is too cold or in the torrid climate means difficult climate then also it reflects even though it is dark evening then also it is uh, reflects but, but as the ocean is boundless as boundless means usko simit nahi hai endless matlab uska koi ant nahi hai and it is sublime sublime means divine the image of eternity the throne of the invisible the ocean is an image of the eternity eternity means our god okay it is a resembling image of our god and it is also called as the throne throne means raj gaddi of the invisible it is also called as the throne of our god invisible is means the noted as the god even from out the slime the monsters of the deep are made okay what is uh, the poet further said that from the slime slime means which surface the under surface of the ocean which is muddy and watery okay that portion is called as slime the so the pers- um, poet further says that even from the slime deep sea monsters are made from the ocean okay but these monsters also obeys the ocean the goes from forth dread fathomless alone okay and the ocean keeps on going forward uh, and uh keeps on going forward and it keeps on extending the uh, and without any fear alone the, and the uh, ocean keeps on moving forward and keeps on uh, extending itself without any kind of fear all alone and the ocean doesn't need anybody for its support and i have loved the the ocean and my joy of youthful sport was on the breast to be born like thy bubbles onward from a boy i went on with thy breakers the to me were a delight and if the fresh thing see made them a terror it was a pleasing fear for i was it were a child of thee and trusted to thy bellows far and near and laid my hands upon the main as i do here okay but here in the last para um, the poet shows his love towards the ocean and said that i have loved the ocean since my childhood days and during my childhood days i used to play various types of sport ne beside the ocean or in the ocean and i was to play, i used to play with the waves of the ocean and it was a great delight to play with the waves of the ocean even though it was a very frightening experience for remaining people but it was a pleasing fear for me and always i have always played uh, beside the with the ocean beside in the shore beside the shore of the ocean and it is always a play pleasing experience and i have trusted thy bellows bellows means mass or bahut uchi uchi jo lehre type ki theek hai Okay, I have also always trusted your bellows, and I have always played with you as I am playing or sitting beside you just now. 
ओके एस आई यूज टू प्ले विथ यू इन द माई चाइल्डहुड डे स्टिल आई एम सिटिंग बिसाइड यू एंड इन्जॉइंग योर कंपनी इन इन माई प्रेजेंट डे ऑल्सो सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस चैप्टर थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे